and welcome back again everyone to another episode of our doom let's play series a brighter tomorrow last time we left off we got on the tram pretty sure something terrible is going to happen and it's not going to be as easy as just going there so we shall see but i'm probably hell baron's just going to crush us or something we meet in person you're not you're a robot are you a robot So it's not really in person, I guess, if you're a robot. Alright. Challenges for this mission. Perform five screw top glory kills on the possessed. Attack lower right leg or head from behind. Uh, interact with two rune trial stones and find two collectibles. Alright. Blood, sweat, and dreams. Blood, sweat, and dreams. Yeah. Um. Uh... Oh, what? I thought it was like a turret. They're just—he's just killing his own guys. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, this cracks me up. Get out of here. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I thought it was like a flame turret or something, man. That's so funny. Oh, that door is closed. Let's go through this one then. Alright, I was attacking the left leg. Nope. Um, go ahead from behind. Nope. 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 That was the right leg. Yeah, this is left leg. What? <sighs> Lower right leg or head from behind. I don't understand. Pretty sure that's what I did. Argent Cell. Oh, you know what, guys? We missed an Argent Cell in the last level. I remember there was one close to where we were at some point. Ah. Whatever. We'll be alright. Alright. What are we going to do this time? Uh, it's time for another health upgrade. Alright. Let's unlock everything so we can get eaten by more demons. You're locked. Oh, Automap is in there. How do I lower left leg? It doesn't do it. Now that's face. Oh, that was a headshot. There we go. I don't did that. Not quite. That's in his. Oh, maybe I got it. Maybe I'm not aiming at his. Okay, well that time I was aiming at his head. But. Uh, all right, is there a door? Because I feel like the auto map is this way. No, I can't get up in there. Oh gosh, man, I really can move differently now with that. All right, maybe there's a way up from this side. Can't use that. No secret passages there. How do I get up in that air vent thing? Sealing Delia. Maybe from here. Aha! I've done it! Ooh. Not a good hiding place, apparently, dude. Gotta keep sneaking around in here. And. Bam! Automat? Sweet! And a lead guard. Jackpot! It's cool. Sneak around in the vents. It's like Splinter Cell or some stealth ninja game. Alright. Advanced Research Complex. 
Construction of the Advanced Research Complex was completed in 2136. This vast state-of-the-art research design and production center uses cutting-edge technology and fabrication techniques to prototype everything from robotics to weaponry to subspace communication systems. The building security, life support, and day-to-day -day operations are almost entirely managed by Vega, the Argent facility's in-house AI man mainframe. Due to the highly sensitive nature of the research being conducted by the ARC, the entire superstructure is essentially a Faraday cage to prevent any unauthorized communication beyond its walls. The ARC is the birthplace of several breakthrough study fields, including BFG development, teleportation research, and cybernetic augmentation. This bastion of advanced thought attracts the brightest minds in the scientific community and is considered humanity's brain trust. Also learn something about these dudes. When a Kako Demon senses the presence of the living, it'll hunt them relentlessly until it gets close enough to gnaw on them using an impressive set of mandibles. That would have been nice to know earlier. To aid the hunt, the Kako Demon, also I have no idea how to say his name, has a uh, psychoactive narcotic bile with it, which it spews at range. In contact, this bile inhibits the perception of the target and compromises movement. The effects wear off after a few moments, which is often enough time for the lumbering beast to get within bite range. Yeah, and then he eats your face. Or your torso. Alright. So, what is immune to explosive barrel damage? Yep. I like blowing things up. So we're gonna stay away from those. Well, actually, we're immune to it now, so we will just stand by all the explosives. Okay. Really? Jerk face McGee over here. Oh my gosh, get off! I will not- no! Okay, okay. Nope! 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 Okay, he's gone. Ammo. What do I got up here? Didn't really mean to. All right, <laughs> one little bullet from that. We are not advancing enough applicants, and our faith is nothing without believers. We cannot conduct our work without them. And what kind of work is it that you're doing, Olivia? I haven't seen a report from your team in months now, have I? Can I trust that she you can keep your huge. distance and control of the situation? It's pretty huge. Of course. I believe in our work, but in order to make progress, we will have to make even greater sacrifices. This isn't progress, it's madness. The board understands the peculiar nature of your work, and no oh, one is in the dark that. on what those sacrifices mean to mankind. But your judgment is no longer considered so. All right. Keep working on those. I forgot about them for a bit. Oh, come on, man. All right. Oh, my gosh. There's so many things so far away. I got one of those. So I still need two rune trials. And two collectibles. No, I'm not near any right now. Okay. Can't open that. So, oh, look at this. A lovely little gore nest for death and destruction. Ugh. Grenades. All right, take you out because you're just annoying. And you don't have any friends. But oh, there's a power up over there. I saw it. I seen it. I don't remember which one this is. Berserk! Yes. Ah! Punch you to death. 
Oh, hey, buddy. Nope. I know you just got here, but, uh, party's over. Anyone else? Oh, you come right down here for me? Appreciate it. Oh, hey, buddy. You too? Oh, hell night. Nope. Nope. Oh, it's almost over. Oh, you're gonna be it. Nope, you're dead. Okay. Dang it. Grenade. Die. And... You're dead too. Keep getting these kills, working my way up. Oh. Oh, lag. Oh, oh, no. Oh, brief for brief. Is there... Oh my gosh, how did you get up here? All right. It's time to switch to this. You're gone. You're still alive? Are you serious? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cool, I got that challenge. Rockets, grenades, death, destruction. Okay. That was, that was nuts. All right. Anything here? No, just things below us. Okay. Let's just go to the door. Unless there's, yeah, there's some ammo. Why are they? Who, who is screaming? Where is the pistol? Uh, don't know how to do corkscrew death punches on them. Oh, come on. I didn't want to shoot him in the face. Oh, no. Not another headshot. Ugh. Seriously? I was right behind him. Alright. Let's skedaddle. We tried. What? Do no. not be alarmed by the system update. It is a prototype of our interdimensional tether. A means for me to pull you back from hell. I'm sorry for the jolt. Mm -hmm. I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. I'm Dr. Samuel So you have Hayden. control over me? Of course I not. I have supplies in my office. This way, please. Oh, I still have... Extra health. All right, let's keep going. Can move a little faster, don't you think? Welcome, Doctor Hayden. Take whatever supplies you need. Shield, health, ammo. Hope you don't mind that I take all the supplies. Almost all the supplies. The destruction of the Argent Tower is devastating. But There's me. I am committed to helping you close the portal. All of our work and understanding of their world is derived from the inscriptions on a large stone artifact we pulled from hell in the earliest yeah, days of the program. Here. We call it the Helix Stone. Oh. Is that it is nope. our most closely guarded asset. Uh -huh. Olivia was obsessed with it. From it, we learned how to manipulate Hell's energy. Bend it to our will. Take advantage of their 
resources. It also led us to you. The Helix Stone showed us how to harness the power of the well. I believe it will show you how to shut it down. For years, Olivia has kept the Helix in her private office in the Lazarus Labs, which is only accessible through a secure elevator from the advanced research complex across the chasm. Your affinity for guns is apparent. I'm confident you'll find something useful there as well. Oh, uh, really? The service elevator is at the end of the hall. All right, uh, I guess we're down here. Thank you, sir. I missed a little dude in there somewhere. He's screeching and screaming. Screeching and squealing. After his rebirth, Samuel was appointed as project director of the Argent facility. It was deemed too bizarre to have the world's first cyborg leading the most powerful corporation in the solar system. Mechanoid Samuel Hayden proved to be an even more impressive figure than his mortal self. Under his leadership, Argent technology exploded. The work achieved at the Argent facility destroyed the boundaries of our understanding of physics. As Samuel himself said, we rewrote the book and called it Argent. After the unveiling of the global energy distribution matrix, it was clear who was really in control of the UAC. Samuel Hayden's triumphant return to power was complete. In a stunning display of bravado and conceit, when the GEDM was finally switched on, Samuel Hayden was live-streamed from in front of the Argent Tower, pulling a massive 12-foot power lever to dispatch the first Argent package to Earth. This sent a clear message to the people of the known solar system. There's only one man that could turn on the power. Hehehe. <laughs> and uh, other codex about this guy. Welcome, Tier 3 Advocates. You have elevated yourself to the next level of thinking. Your previous notions have been cleansed by science, and you see things now as they truly are. The true power of Argent energy, under the stewardship of the UAC, will drive us into the next age of mankind. No more secrets, no more hiding. Your journey towards the final tier begins now. Our, outstanding of, our understanding of pandimensional existence grows each day. As we begin to realize the true power that flows from hell, we are changed into something greater than we ever thought possible. Your life as a Tier 3 Advocate is more than just the work you perform. Spiritual understanding of who we are and what we are meant to become grows with each artifact you catalog, each weapon you prototype, and each heretic you convert. The fear of hell is seen for what it really is. False emotions appearing real. You have opened your mind. And these guys work at some crazy cult or something here. Why can't I do it? This doesn't work either. What? Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right. Uh, you again. Okay, so there was a there's an elite guard up here. Then, let's uh, go here first. Yeah, buddy. Get the points. Do the things. Score the score the th points and goals and baskets. All right, there's the rune trial there. Just can't get to it yet. So let's go through these airlocks here. Okay. Does it change all the airlocks? Can I? Eh. I don't know. Where did you come from? You guys. So that guy must have gone through the through the airlock. Seriously, where are you guys coming from? Uh, let's uh, get a good weapon out first. What? You have a new? Oh, you're different. Hey. 
Got something on your face. Well. Oh, he's a cyborg mancubus? What? Uh, come out, shotgun. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> you all dead. Oh, you're just a regular one. Gut punch. And then... Alright, I guess we'll get this now. Oh my... And I got crazy control in the air of that stuff. Gosh, with haste and... Combat shotgun. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, but now you're still alive. Yeah, now you're dead. Who is it? Oh, it's... Nope. Nope. That snitch. Oh, thanks. Thanks for dying. Really appreciate it. It's just a suggestion, really, but the fact that you accept it, you know, it just really means a lot. Okay, why can't I get in that airlock? Does this open that airlock? Oh, there's a security field. Can't go through there. Anything else around here? Rune trial over there. And Argent cell down there. Oh, it did open it. There more, you guys? Yep. Uh, you dead. Oh, you dead too. Um, wait, no, did that just close? Okay, no, I'm gonna go through here first. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, I'm just gonna do it. Grab that. Yes! Rune trial. Alright. Armed with a heavy assault rifle and eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Movement is only permitted for three seconds following any kill. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Please at least give me the rockets on this thing. I mean, the scope, I guess, would be okay if they're far away. And if they're little guys, but... <sighs> you know, it's never just that easy. So far, it's just been these dudes. That's not too too bad. Oh, hurts. Yes. All right, that was actually pretty easy. Not that wasn't really that bad at all. Cool. Well, I got the rune. Move faster. Uh, after I think it was glory kills. I don't know. I should I should learn to read better. Okay. Render graphics. Good job. Cool. Got a uh, one of those. So, doing good on these, over halfway with these ones already, so, or, yeah, over halfway. Let's keep, I'll stick with what I got for now, it's been a good combo of, of things that have been helping me out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I gotta go down in there, I'm pretty sure there's an Argent Sill. Right here. Mm-hmm, that's right. It's uh, ammo time this time. Got a nice uh, sequence going with my upgrades, so ammo's gonna be pretty solid. Since we always run out of ammo, now that we have bigger, scarier enemies to deal with. Whoa, where am I? Yeah, I mean, what 
is that? No, oh, it's you. Alright. Does, does that mean one's about to charge me? What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, got him. Actually, I didn't even know this guy was up here. It just looked like a place to go. And I saw him. Didn't realize this is where it was, though. All right, cool. All right. Oh, no. You. Nowhere to run this time. I get to him this time. He's cornered. I will take his upgrade point or uh, his uh, weapon upgrade. What does this do? Oh, that like floats me to the top. I think you're so scary. I wonder if I have to like go all the way up and then drop down the other side to get to that thing. Or if it's just right down here, because I think it's just right down here. There it is. Hmm. Zoom in and charge a high damage shot. That's kind of what that already does. Lock onto a target. Yeah, let's see that one. Almost have all the upgrades. Jump up here. Skidoosh up there. No. Ah, what is going on? There we go. Kill old Banes. Fans on. Let's go. Now, what? All right, I'm going this way, I guess, because I didn't really have a choice. It's just blasting me out of here. Um, this is the other room. Nowhere else to go there. shields that's all that is I guess I can go up either side then so it doesn't really didn't really matter which way I went oh this way this way okay okay grab ammo oh elite card secret all I did was walk through a door it's a pretty lame secret how am I doing on Challenges. Oh, Cyber Mancubus. The Mancubus strain of demon has long been a subject of fascination among Lazarus scientists. Eager to understand the biology of these creatures, a team of biogeneticists led by Dr. Pierce herself was formed to research and manipulate the behavior and effect of the creatures. Well, it's not very nice. Yep, yep. Cool. So... One more trial stone, one more collectible. Ugh, three more of those things. I've just been terrible at trying to get. Oh, I'm good. All right, well, that's going to end the episode for today. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you could leave a like before you go, that'd be great. Go ahead and leave any comments you have, any suggestions, any feedback, anything like that. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time.